Good day, Cherry Blossom family. It is Derek back with another episode of What the Hip Wednesday, where we talk to you about uh, what's going on in the hip around the country and around the world. And today is a day of studies. Studies. There's some very interesting studies that have been done in the last week or so, and we're going to talk about them. And let's start with the American Medical Association announced last week that it has approved a resolution calling on states that have legalized or decriminalized cannabis to expunge the records uh and convictions of marijuana marijuana related offenses that are no longer illegal. Of course, the American Medical Association is the largest professional association for physicians in the United States. Uh, they announced this last week on June 14th at their annual meeting of his House of Delegates in Chicago. And what they're saying is to introduce equity and fairness into the fast changing effort to legalize cannabis, noting that States have had legal uh, um, cannabis sales and also medical cannabis sales. And one of the points they're making that this affects young people aspiring to, for careers in medicine, as well as many others who are denied housing, education, loans, and job opportunities. That is from AMA trustee Scott Ferguson. It is simply unfair to ruin a life based on actions that result in convictions, but are subsequent, subsequently legalized or decriminalized. Scott Ferguson, you're a good guy. And speaking of good people, that is awesome. That is really, really good news. Another study from, what's there is this? The Scientific Reports, uh, led by researchers from the University of New Mexico, says that studies show that uh, cannabis use could lead to increased kindness and empathy. Um, so they're saying that researchers pointed to the existing literature surrounding cannabis and user effects uh, as, as opposed to uh, uh, focusing on health risks, pharmacodynamics and consumption rather than investigating the normative uh, psychological effects of use of cannabis and otherwise healthy people. So it may make you nicer. They found the cannabis consumer scored higher than THC uh, free participants on measures of social behavior, empathy, moral harmlessness and fairness. But uh, we're all pretty much the same when it comes to anger, hostility, distrust of others. The facial threat interpretation, that kind of stuff. So uh, we're not too much different. It just, you know, somehow it just reads we're a little bit nicer. And in interesting news, millennials are smoking the heck out of some weed. So millennials, uh, they came of age when cannabis rated attitudes were changing. And they're saying New Frontier data reports that 39% of can millennial cannabis users consume multiple times a day. And 49% uh, of millennials shopping at the illegal market spend between $50 and $200 per transaction. All kinds of stuff in here. Man, you millennials, man, you're taking the torch and running with it. That's all for today. Um, there's more in the links. Check out these stories in full. But for now, uh, like, subscribe, share, and comment. We love your comments, and we'll see you next week.